We are continuing our coverage this evening on a new study that revealed a troubling lack of awareness about the Holocaust among many young people. And with the once vibrant survivor community in Northeast Ohio now shrinking, we're taking a look at why innovative education might be the key to making sure the next generations know and remember. Well, up until only a few years ago, there were still over a thousand Holocaust survivors living in the Northeast Ohio area, which is astounding. Fleeing persecution, a large community of Holocaust survivors once planted new roots here in Northeast Ohio. Both my mother's parents survived the Holocaust. They were from Southeast Poland, and they both survived through concentration camps. The legacies of those survivors now mostly live on in their children and grandchildren, like Joshua Kramer. My grandfather was a first-hand witness to a place that most people haven't heard of. It was one of the most horrific places that has ever existed. It's called Belzhet's Concentration Camp. But he also was quick to laugh and uh, quick to celebrate his having survived and celebrate uh, his life in America. Uh, and uh, that, again, that resilience is what I, I respect most. Kramer now sits on the board of the Cole Israel Foundation, a survivor organization that in 1961 dedicated what may be the first ever Holocaust memorial in the United States at Zion Memorial Park in Bedford Heights. It uh, contains buried beneath it the uh, ashes from remains found at three separate concentration camps of Europe so that the survivor population of Northeast Ohio had a physical place in a cemetery to come and pay their respects to their lost loved ones from the Holocaust. A monument to a history they vowed we would never forget. But a new study out this fall revealed a lack of Holocaust awareness and knowledge among millennials and Gen Z nationally. Ohio ranked 32nd in overall Holocaust awareness. It's just deeply disturbing and, and deeply disappointing in, in my generation. But that's not to say that uh, millennials are worth writing off. It's, it's, it's on the shoulders of their educators and not themselves necessarily. And as survivor numbers shrink, Kramer says education plays an increasingly important role. There are fewer and fewer Holocaust survivors every year to hear from and hear their stories. And so raising awareness in uh, new and innovative ways is all that we have at our disposal. One of those innovative ways, an Israeli program brought here by the Jewish Federation of Cleveland. Zikaron Salom means remembrance in the living room. Small groups of young people meet with survivors and time goes on with descendants of survivors to hear essentially firsthand stories from people who can answer questions about their experience. Though it's clear there's work to be done, the survey did find one glimmer of hope. 80% of respondents agree that it's important to teach the Holocaust, in part so it does not happen again. I think that the millennial generation values a good education, and I think that uh, the millennial generation wants their own kids to be well informed about the world. Hopefully, greater education means more people feel that way. Ohio is not among the 15 states that mandate Holocaust education in schools. However, a bill now pending in Columbus would create a panel that would help find money for Holocaust education programs statewide. We will certainly keep an eye on that and keep you posted. I want to thank everybody who shared their stories with us to do those two stories tonight and bring them to you. It's such an important cause and a really interesting study to build. Oh, yeah. Interesting and certainly disturbing as well.